Uh, next up, tangent secant angles. So here we go, we've got ourselves a tangent segment CD and a secant that are intersecting out here at point C. And the rule, which is very similar to one we've seen before with secant secant angles, is the angle is equal to the far away arc minus the arc that's closest divided by two. So let's see if we can do a couple examples here. Number one, the angle equals the far away arc minus the close arc over two. In this case, the angle is missing. The far away arc is 202. The close arc is 102 over two. 202 minus 102 is 100. Over two is 50 degrees. Number two, angle equals far away arc minus close arc over two. 31 is equal to 170 minus x over two. Multiply by two on both sides, you get 62 is 170 minus x. Uh, let's get the, uh, the 170 over here to the left, so we'll subtract so that gives us negative 108 is negative x, so x is positive 108. Okay, moving right along. Feel free to pause these before I go through them. Give them a shot and then rewind it. Or just press play, see if you got them right. Far away arc minus close arc over two. In this case, the angle is a, an expression. 140 minus 72 over 2. We're not going to multiply both sides by 2 here because the numerator is just numbers. 140 minus 72, well that's 68 I think. Over 2, that's 34. We're going to add 2 to both sides. We get 12x equals 36. x is 3. And as always, you can. I encourage you to plug that three back in here and see if it all works out. Number four. Here we have the same thing. Angle equals far away arc minus close arc over two. Fifty-five equals negative one plus thirty-one x minus the close arc. The close arc is a binomial, so we have to put it in parentheses over two. All right, and that's really a, a point of confusion for a lot of kids. When that close arc is a binomial, when that close arc is a binomial, we have to put it in parentheses because there's a minus sign that's in between them, and the minus sign will affect everything after it. All right, so let's get this 2 out of here first. We'll multiply both sides by it. 55 times 2 is 110. Now the left or the right-hand side needs a little bit of work. This guy right here, let's distribute that negative in there. When you distribute a negative into a positive 13x, it becomes negative 13x, and a negative 3 becomes a positive 3. So now we want to combine like terms. 31x minus 13x is 18x. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. Subtract 2, get 108 equals 18x and that is going to equal 6 I think 18 times 6 is 60 plus 48 yep so that works out and for this one maybe I'll show you the check just to prove to you that this thing indeed does work so we're going to we're going to check to make sure that 6 is the correct the correct answer here. So let's go ahead and plug it back in. Where we see an x, I'm going to put a 6. So 13 times 6 minus 3. That's, let's see, uh, 78 minus 3 is 75. So remember the angle should equal far away arc minus the close arc. The close arc we just said was 75. The far away arc is Let's see, 186 minus 1, 185. All right, so let's bring it down here. I'll write a little bit bigger. 
trying to figure, see if this works, see if this actually fits together. 55, well it's 185 minus 75, that's 110. 110 over 2 is 55, so that works out. So there we go, tangent secant angles. Not that much different than secant secant angles. It follows that same pattern where you take the angle is equal to the faraway arc minus the close arc over 2.